Polish concept of the history of science. The history of science is a very broad concept and includes the history of particular disciplines. Very often, outstanding specialists from botany, from medicine, become historians of their field. However, I believe an integrated history of science may be much more, or at least equally, as interesting. I'd like to explain what I mean. An integrated history of science looks at the history of science from many different points of view, while, at the same time, finding one criterion. For example, if the paradigm of a given era is evolutionism, that means that we can look at other sciences from that point of view, not only the environmental and biological sciences, but the social sciences as well. If today we can call electronics or computers a paradigm, then we can look at other sciences, not only the technical sciences, from that point of view, including even the study of music or literature. Thus, we have an integrated history of science. An integrated history of science raises questions that we attempt to answer. Are scientific mistakes signs of a stoppage and interfere in the progress of science? It turns out the answer is no. Mistakes made in the scientific process also contribute to scientific progress as they very often lead to new discoveries, and it all keeps going forward. Thus a mistake does not disqualify the past, but has a future meaning inasmuch as it may lead to new discoveries and new ideas. Therefore, these types of questions also arise in an integrated history of science. Finally, we have an always relevant question. What in science is beneficial and, as is often the case, what is harmful? These are also questions on the margins of science and scientific history. Furthermore, in the history of science, that which exists today is part of the past tomorrow, while the future stands before us. Issues such as the invention of the atomic bomb are great discoveries indeed, and while nuclear power may bring great benefits, its improper use can threaten the entire world. There's another problem. Look at the huge sums of money spent on exploring the cosmos, while there is so much misery on Earth. So, we need to balance the money spent on purely scientific endeavors against the needs of people now and in the future. These questions are all a part of an integrated history of science. The Polish concept of the history of science differs from both the concept in Western and in Eastern Europe. We have our own particular view, which is steadily generating interest around the world. In Western and Eastern Europe, the history of science means sciences such as mathematics, physics, biology, and technology. However, the history of the social sciences is not included. 
Meanwhile, in Poland, Professor Suchodelski proposed that the history of social sciences must be treated the same as the so-called hard sciences. His reasoning was quite interesting. He called attention to the fact that during the period of partitions, if not for the social sciences and humanities, such as linguistics, grammar, belles lettres, we would have lost our own sense of identity. It's principally due to the development of these sciences that Poles retain their national identity. Thus, in Poland, we cannot separate the history of the social sciences from that of the hard sciences, for the history of the social sciences is often more important than scientific achievements. Of course, this has generated great interest on an international scale, and this Polish concept has become ever more widely known. Here in Poland, the structure of the history of science and didactics at the university level is based on this concept. For example, in library science, both the history of the social sciences and the hard sciences are studied. The multi-tome History of Science is a work we can be proud of as no such comprehensive treatment of the subject exists anywhere else in the world. Here too, the history of the social sciences is treated as an equal to the history of all the other disciplines. And so, this concept has become a part of our daily professional practice.